And when we say the word Allah, we are not believing in a God who is only a God of the Muslims, the Arabs, Indian, Pakistani, or the Middle Eastern. When we say the word Allah, we are referring to the Creator. In different languages, we say different names for the same Creator. Like in Hebrew language, we can say Elohim, Jehovah, Yahweh. In Spanish, it is Dios. Uh, in Norwegian, it is Good. Uh, in English, it is the Creator, right? In the language of Jesus, do you guys know what was his language? Jesus, peace be upon him. What was his language? Aramaic. Aramaic, okay. All right, good. <laughs> uh, according to that language, uh, Brother uh, Mario, the name, the name of God is Ilah or Allah. So Allah is the universal God, and we have many, many attributes of the Creator. We say He is one, uh, He is uh, eternal, He is powerful, He is merciful, He is loving God, and He wants to guide humanity. So to guide humanity, God did not come down and became a human or an idol or an animal or the sun, the moon, the creation. God remained God and he from the humans, he chose messengers and prophets. Yes. So God, when he created Adam, God started to send a fundamental truth to Adam that do not worship animals and idols in the creation, but only submit to one God. Amen. So that submission to one God in Arabic is Islam. So that same truth then God gave to all the messengers and all the prophets. Some of them I mentioned over here, Brother uh, Mario, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon all of them and many, many thousands more. So there is a passage in the Quran, chapter 16, verse 36, that God appointed messengers and prophets to all the nations and then God sent them one fundamental truth. Invite your people to the worship of one God. Not to worship the creation, but the creator. In Arabic, that is Islam. So we say that every prophet, including Jesus, came with the message of Islam. So now a question to all of you is, okay, if Islam is the faith, what is the name of a person who follows Islam? You guys know this. Muslim, Muslim right? Yes. So we say that Jesus and Moses, they were Muslims. We say Abraham and Noah, they were Muslims. They were not Christians or Jews. In fact, Allah says in the Quran, chapter 3, verse number 67, that Abraham was neither a Jew nor a Christian, but he was a Muslim, right? Allah says that. Even for Jesus, the Quran says in chapter 3, verse number 51, Inna Allah rabbi wa rabbukum fa'budu haza sirata mustaqeem. So the translation is, Jesus is saying to his people, Verily, Allah is my Lord and your Lord. Worship him alone, and that is the straight path. So what happened was, Brother, uh, Brother Mario, if you can look at over here. No, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm. Yeah, so that is the one path, the first and the original and the only faith and the only guidance that God gave for humanity. So what people did, did in history was, so this is the straight path. This is the path of Islam. All the prophets that came with that path. But some people in many different times and generations, they moved away. Like some people, they moved away and they diluted the oneness of God and they started to take idols as mediators or the creators. That's how the faith of Hinduism was started by humans, not given by God. Some people, they started to worship the sun, Athenism God started. Some people, they started to take away the concept of God and only had certain rituals. That's how Buddhism God started. And then some people, by mistake, they started to elevate Jesus, a messenger, a flesh and blood, a human, because he was doing miracles. They thought maybe he's more than a human. And they started to think, you know what? Maybe he's son of God. Maybe he's God. Maybe he's part of Trinity. That's how the faith of Christianity was started by humans, not given by God. In fact, Jesus never heard the word Christianity. Jesus never heard the word Christian. The word Christianity is not there in the whole Bible. The word Judaism is not there in the whole Bible. The word, the, the, the word Trinity is not there in the whole Bible. The word Bible is not there in the whole Bible, right, to begin with. So all of these are invented, you know, theologies. God sent the last messenger, Muhammad, peace be upon him, to bring 